हेलो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनादर स्ट्रीम अ लॉन्ग टाइम इन माई चैनल एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नॉट मेनी पीपल हियर यट बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू रियली अपोलॉजाइज फॉर शेड्यूलिंग माई स्ट्रीम एंड नॉट स्ट्रीमिंग इट ऑन माई चैनल नाउ आई वॉज टोल्ड आई वॉज टोल्ड दैट इट वुड बी रीस्ट्रीम्ड ऑन माई चैनल एंड दैट इज वाई आई शेड्यूल्ड इट but they were not able to do it and uh, if you guys were watching the broadcast of the european uh, rapid you would have realized that they were having problems a lot bigger than uh, you know just restreaming it on my channel uh, their problems uh, were at a lot more fundamental level like audio problems video problems uh, having uh, a basic internet and uh, what not so again for people who are just joining in i would like to really really sincerely apologize for not being able to uh, stream it on my channel the european rapid and also to make you all wait for such a long time by scheduling the stream and uh, not carrying on with it on the channel so sorry guys and uh, on that note we'll begin uh, today's stream i'm not entirely sure what we have planned to do and uh, i'm not even sure uh, who's uh, team uh, ishan is going to be in today that's going to be the big question of today's stream now i had some ideas of uh, doing some discord related things hi hang on let me bring you on here good to see you i'm good how are you I know, I know, I know. You are just in uh, Katowice, say yes. And uh, but you know, you're you're going to Warsaw in a few days, yeah. Hang on, uh, people cannot hear you. Yeah, people cannot hear you oh, on my stream. I think I set the Zoom audio to something, some different output. Yeah, the Zoom audio is in. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's not from here. And, uh, it's a problem with my audio settings. Why? broadcast <laughs> i think you know i should complain if anyone okay now people can hear you but i think the audio is just too high turn oh no because uh, again it's problem with my uh, settings my my chat is going like rip ears i i think i think it should be okay now this is so weird what's wrong with the audio settings yeah i think i think it's all it's all fixed now chat uh, let me let me just ask my chat you can you can say hello hi to my chat hello to fresh chat She has awesome chat. Oh Waiting. my god. Why is the sound so high? Fix it, Joy. <laughs> you have to fix it. Am I shouting? No, you're not. I I don't think you're shouting. Here. Yeah, I think I think it's better now. 
can can you say hi to uh, my chat again hi oh no when when you speak it goes really loud hi hi <laughs> Wait, I'm going to check it. Uh you are trolling. I don't see your uh your stream. Oh, yes, Kitty. Uh can you say hi now? You are not streaming. I am streaming. You're not subscribed to my channel. I am you are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have I told you like the stream, subscribe to my channel if you haven't? <laughs> I am, I am already. Yes. Uh, no, I fixed it. I fixed it now. The problem was on my uh, previous stream. Who was it with? Yeah. I don't remember who was it with. But I had to. I had to really uh, increase the gain, and uh, it was a really low voice of the other person. And uh, with you, it just continued with that. Okay. Is it fixed now? I think. Uh, yeah. Now. Now it's fixed. It's fixed. Okay. Okay, okay. Welcome everyone. Hello everyone. And this is the day when people like it's here, Sri. People were asking so much for this day. Mhm. Uh and uh, do you have anything in your mind? I have one idea. But I would like to hear hear from you first. No, I don't. So I think Sri uh and Sri's chat and my chat, we should fix one thing, one very inf- important thing before we go on. I think I see what is coming. You and Asian, okay? But no one wants to fix it. We are happy without each other. <laughs> no, guys, we are like we are the kid of parents who are always fighting and we are Katie, please, 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 please keep Ishan with you. <laughs> <laughs> please. I I've, I've been trying to get rid of him for such a long time. and you know he he leaves my server almost every single day and then he comes back and he's like you know uh, can you please give me the role again and then i add him and then next day he all again leaves and then the day after he's like can you please give me the role again please please keep him kid no i don't feel it i don't know where is he he's gone but we're going to fix one thing and it's going to be your relationship with him <laughs> But yeah tell me how are you doing like um I know that you were doing some gym today I didn't know you were doing gym Uh not a lot of people know that uh, it doesn't it doesn't show I think But uh, oh, yeah I I, <laughs> I I started sometime after I got covid because I really yeah. had to uh, catch up and uh, try to get back to normal and I think it's it's much better in the last 2 uh, or 3 months Okay, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had caught like almost the same period and I remember that um I was telling you that when I walk like 100 meters I'm getting so tired that I have to sit down or return back. And I used to walk like t- 10 kilometers per day it was like normal thing, but yeah, that's that's very good idea actually to to start the workout. Yeah, uh I think I think you can uh, regain it really fast if you work a bit hard uh, if you just spend some time on it um uh, but yeah i was i was in uh, it wasn't it was so difficult for me to walk like uh, 100 meters on the incline with uh, nemo if you watched that video of me and nemo <laughs> playing chess in sochi uh, when 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 we reached the place to shoot the game i was completely out i i could i was struggling to breathe and uh, i don't think people were able I, i'm not sure how many people made it out in the video but i just i was i was struggling for my breath while playing the game itself Oh wow. Oh Shri, I have to shout out to Road to GM 3000 Sean for raiding with 239 raiders. Welcome everybody. Glad to have you guys here. I'm Katy. This guy over here is Shri Nad the Grandmaster also um also a GM GM master <laughs> and he's telling us his experience. how to work out and not being visible like you are doing workout but you are hiding it very very nicely yeah uh, <laughs> everyone has something to hide in their life for me it's workouts 
<laughs> I see, I see. Very nice. I'm, I'm promising myself from next year, 2022, will be a year when I'm going to start to swim. Um, because I don't know how to swim. I will not like dive in swimming pool, but when it comes to sea or ocean, I'm very afraid and I'm not really going. Ah, so okay, yeah. Uh, um, but you can you can swim on a swimming pool, yes? Like a yeah, normal yeah, depth. swimming pool, I, I can swim. But if it's like two meters, like if it's a deep swimming pool, I don't feel comfortable. And I'm yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's, it's the same for me. It's the same for me. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many similarities <laughs> it scares me i, I so, learned to swim uh, just before uh, the covid in 2019 and then uh, after covid I'm, I'm just too scared to go to the swimming pools because it feels it feels a bit more risky you know being in the same water as other people oh yeah that's the reason why i didn't start to to go at the beginning because uh, um yeah it's it's dangerous <laughs> yeah i know and uh, you know uh, also i got covid once and then i thought okay uh, it's good i won't get it again i have the immunity and then we have a variant which uh, for which the immunity doesn't work it's a completely new immunity so i think it's it's going to wait a while longer to get back to what i uh, used to pre-covid times yeah true I, for now i have like two, several burns on my body this one mm -hmm. uh, i have no idea how it, it came it disappeared it looks like coma from long perspective yeah it, it looks like a rash <laughs> i don't know what is this this for um and also i have huge burn on my leg like upper upper part of my uh, leg because I am so stupid. You know what I did? The mm -hmm. last day I was in rush to go at the uh, European Championship and mm -hmm. I was ironing my shirt. Uh, and this shirt uh, had some water, like it was like dropping. I was like, oh no, it's dropping. So I decided to wipe it. And how, how to wipe it? Where to wipe it? And I, I had I can, on I can. me and I wiped on my body. I got burned. I get so badly burned. Like it's not something like I burned my skin that you have these bubbles, you know, on the skin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, it went inside and my whole like whole leg is red. Like the wow. inside part is red and hurts me so much. It's so stupid, I know, but um, that must have hurt like crazy. It it hurted me a lot, and when I looked, it's not. It was not even red, and I was like, "Where? Where is it?" And uh, I put some cold, of course, but I was really, really in rush, so I went uh, at the. Um, so you did uh, not have time to go to the ER. ER the, to the emergency room. No, 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 not not really. And I had no idea what was there, and then at some point, I took like a bathroom break. And I was like, what? <laughs> it's huge. And it's such a different burn, like not, not, not something that I had before. It's like the, 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 the skin is not burned, but inside part is burned. So crazy. Oh, that takes, that takes a long time to heal, right? I hope it's going to heal at some point and I don't, it's, it, it's still, it still burns. Yes, 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 yes. I, I, maybe, maybe you should go to a doctor and just uh, yeah i think so i think so because uh with burns uh two things yeah it, it takes a really long time to heal and uh, secondly yeah i think i think it has to be uh treated looked into um i remember my uh so it was in uh, 2011 or something like this i was uh, going to italy with my dad and uh, my dad kept some uh, he played, he had some oil in the stove and he switched it on, came back and then forgot about it. Oh. And then after a few minutes, I could see the reflection of fire in the door of the kitchen. Uh -huh. And then I was like, dad, there's a fire in the kitchen. And uh, he immediately ran towards it. He just took it with his hand and then uh, placed it in the sink. The fire went out, but hands were yes, 
no no the hands was burnt uh, up to this part i i don't know if it can be seen on stream yeah up to this part and uh, it took it took almost a few months for it to get uh, back to normal with burns it takes a really long time also also my dad uh, initially he did not go to the emergency room but uh, there was there was a nurse next door in the same apartment and uh, she forced him to go there and it was a really good thing because burns can get really nasty and leave uh, long term effects wow maybe i should do uh, i have some uh, cream and i'm using it but is that uh, everything is fixed uh, after after visiting the doctor or uh it took it took a lot of time uh, but for him the burn was i think uh, much higher he uh, it it just kind of ate, ate into his skin and um, for a whole month he was not able to use that hand uh, he had to just use the left hand for uh, but uh, i think for you maybe the burn is not as much but uh, i i think i think you really uh, still need to see a doctor and just make sure that it's uh, it doesn't uh, leave a lasting impression yeah. you know yeah it's a, yeah yeah it's, it's just um, not pleasant when you have something some marks on on the body especially in summer or just in general like for for confidence yeah uh, it's it's better not to have yeah i'll just look how it's going to go i have like some special cream which is for burn Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah then then we will see like i'll go to warsaw when probably they will have some emergency rooms during the um world rapid yes so, yeah uh thank you very much to home Bree, brev bg for the sub with the prime and everyone who just join us um you guys do we have i think we have also shrina's link let me very quickly Also I see Ishan in your chat I'll be team Katie's representative in Shree's chat today <laughs> Look Katie do you do you want me to patch up with this guy <laughs> We're going to fix everything we're going to fix everything Yeah oh we have actually PMD here doctor so PMD and on top of it you know what I did like i have this burn here it hurts me so much mm-hmm. i have burn in here it hurts me as well but i don't know how like why in the kitchen and i i, I don't know i that song that looks like a kitchen burn you know some, something in the stove or I'm i don't know i'm not really cooking anything to get burned but <laughs> and yesterday i made a toast to- toast toast like the bread and the cheese mm-hmm, on it mm-hmm. and i was so lazy i just put it right here with my with the plate and i took the plate and my fingers got burnt <laughs> so i was like you know kid you're not like <laughs> fire pro come and just stop it <laughs> oh my god my three fingers and three fingers like six fingers are burnt because i touched the plate <laughs> yeah So you you have burns all over yourself on your hands so hands on your legs Yeah yeah the legs is the worst the, the part that really um um hurts me but uh yeah wait fun master is here as well oh mike is here as well so Oh yes kitty I know I saw I saw I saw your video today uh uh what were you called uh, some crocodile Some crocodile? Uh, some 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 crocodile, yeah. Um, for chess kids. What crocodile? Happy. Ah yes, happy crocodile. Yes yes yes. I was like, what? <laughs> How is she teaching children and then making plans to chomp me and uh, kill me piece by piece with Ishan? Oh my god! I thought you were doing commentary and you were reading. <laughs> <laughs> you know Ishan sends me screenshots of everything you do with him. Yeah, he sent I, me I to that. I was like okay okay I'll be I'll be like more careful next time. And he's also uh t- texting to Adiban and Adiban is posting everything. So... On Instagram, yes? I know. Yes. I... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's dangerous. Um, Mike says that we should we should get you a chess kid name too, Shri. Something something funny. I think I think Shri itself sounds like a kid, no? What? Uh, I think just Shri. It sounds like a kid, no? Shri. <laughs> yeah, Shri. Hey, uh, my my leeches idea is uh, Shrinath Baggins. I don't know if that's kids friendly. Just Shri. <laughs> <laughs> just Shri, yeah. Yeah, just Shri works. Oh, uh, also to Mike, I I loved his uh, bits with uh, Nepo in the World Championship match. I was uh, watching the interviews after the game and. Uh, Uh, he clearly asked some of the better questions during the press conferences and the interviews yeah i was really really like um like it was such a big difference from the comments like the questions from other people and from mike i was like how oh, is coming up with these questions <laughs> he's a professional so, yeah 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 absolutely absolutely <laughs> great with that Yeah, true. As Mike says, uh, not easy to yeah. chat with a player who's having a bad time. Wow, he he did study journal. Okay, it makes sense. Then. Me when I'm asked, I have to ask question. I'm like struggling so much to find a proper one, especially to a person who. Looks I can I can imagine. Uh, I struggle so much with this, and uh, I thought your interviews during the European Rapid were uh, fantastic as well. Uh, but but it comes with practice yes you get better with practice um it's it's really it really like for me i don't like when people are uncomfortable and uh um, myself i have been also in uncomfortable situation when i'm stressed or i'm not happy to talk and uh for this uh, for this tournament we had this kind of approach to just chill and just out, on the sofa just to bring people who are who are vibing you know who are happy to show in the atmosphere not chess players because when you bring chess player grandmaster and they're talking about the game uh they are talking uh, about the chess board they have in their uh, head and we don't know what they're talking about so it's very hard to uh and then also here like there are like a lot of participants uh but um s- somehow like they are really cool where they are really nice but when i start to ask the question i put the mic in front of them they are starting to be very nervous Um, yeah yeah that's also true and they true. forget what they want to say and i'm not really pushing uh because off the cameras when they know that we're just chatting they are telling me so many stories and they are so different and when i'm talking in cameras they can breathe and it makes me very uncomfortable and i don't want anyone to feel this uncomfortable when and I'm and you know who's the hardest to interview these kids these indian kids they literally uh they literally give a uh, reply in just one word hi nihal how was your game it was good <laughs> did you <laughs> did you enjoy it yes uh so what happened in the game can you tell us um my opponent played really well i got lucky i won the game <laughs> Yeah, 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 but there was yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. But there was like kids uh, from Latvia. They they were really awesome. Yeah, I saw some. Uh, I was listening to you too uh, after the interview, and you were also amazed by this uh, guy, right? Uh, my my M- Michael, M- M- Michael, Michael. Uh, which one? the latvian guy um, ah yes who, yes yes you you had a picture with him yes 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 i i remember i remember i saw that and i was like oh she gets pictures with all the prodigies before they yeah yeah he's As... really he's really big star in latvia i've seen his video on uh, insta on twitter and he has really i was like looking for this video to share with you and fiona he's really nice one uh, yeah <laughs> succeeded But but I don't I don't remember his name exactly. Yeah, I can check. And his sister was really nice. Oh yes, uh, I I remember I remember the interview. So he's the guy who does uh, shows, right? He does shows on. He he plays dice chess and uh, 
Swedish chess and yeah I remember yeah he played uh, he came with a sister yeah now I recall him <laughs> yes yes and then the sister came to me and they're like they were like four they were whole, whole family and then father wrote me afterwards that my eyes uh is wants to be around you <laughs> <She was also. laughs> learning from you just like enjoying your like company the covers and everything and like sometimes i was asking to come and she was super nice but when i was asking her some question and her english was quite decent like really yeah 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 she's so young yeah i mean she's like six or seven or she was seven yes yeah it's pretty impressive yeah and but at some point i think i stress her a little bit uh for the interview when she was alone like when she was with the brother she was like more energetic and big brother was there too but she was running uh, around all the time and i was just calling her and coming she was coming like when you guys were like commentating and um yeah the, for the second time when i called her she was a little bit stressed right by the way uh Yeah so before uh, we before we get uh, started with the games and stuff wanted to update a couple of things uh, mm-hmm. big news in indian chess by the way and uh, it's it's not entirely good news but uh, vishy is having a terrible tournament in kashimo memorial and uh, his rapid rating has actually dropped below 2700 perhaps for the first time ever Oh no, I have not seen that tournament. Let me very quickly. Is that on uh, Chesscom? Yes, uh, Chesscom events. Yes. Wow, why why is why it's going like that? What do you think? What's the reason? Uh, I don't know, Katie, but uh, I think it's probably has to do with the pandemic and um, uh, the lack of constant playing. You know, the lack of. Uh, I mean it, it it gets it gets harder to uh, be fluent when you're uh, not constantly in touch so the little kids like Nihal and Arjun and uh, Gukesh they stay constantly in chess by uh, playing chess online every single day almost every single day it comes so naturally to them uh, they go and uh, just play this 3 plus 0 and lots of bullets i think it really helps them keep in shape and if i had to make a very uh, general but uh, a blanket statement i think the post pandemic uh, world of chess you know after 2020 uh, there is a big gap between people who play uh, online regularly and well and people who don't play online so much i think i think people who play regularly online a lot of them have managed to uh, go climb up quite a bit and people who uh, are following the more traditional uh, older methods of preparing chess uh, they are struggling to get back without a lot of tournaments and gameplay true true i agree with that absolutely agree with that and also like um since pandemia when the games come back like uh, over the board came back like we have seen so many young people uh, winning the tournament starting from jordan uh Van yes Frest. winning huge tournaments because uh they were like stronger stronger players of course but he was the one who won right and then also other events were pretty much for the young players and i also sense that maybe these guys use this period really properly um and in case of anand he was he spent one month in uh, in dubai um that's a lot of time that's a lot of time meanwhile and you know she uh, the close tournaments like this uh where he's participating it's, it's so hard right these guys were preparing for the tournament not a month before but several months before they had their routine and they knew that uh they going to play here right so and i yes, was Katie, pretty much but... working this last month uh he was working but also you know he was he was working on chess he was commentating on the world championship and he was doing it without engines so 
Uh, I think I think there's there's still uh, that's still a pretty decent way to stay in shape when you commentate on games without engines because you still have to calculate a lot and evaluate and he was also doing it with a, a pretty strong player Anna Muzichuk but uh, but it's been incredibly shocking you know uh, I have never seen Vishy play like this ever and uh, this this tournament it's like a normal uh, closed event I mean it's not like the world championship where there is so much intense pressure which which he has done like 5 or 10 times and uh, just check this game against uh, Karuana that he played today with the white pieces just have a look at that that was like brutal and i just cannot explain to myself i cannot understand how that happened how he made uh, uh, such a mistake uh wishy you know i mean i've seen such mistakes from other top grandmasters other elite players i i couldn't uh digest that it happened with wishy though i'll uh, just bring it up on the board on my scre- uh, on my stream okay i'll catch that which you made you made carrot a uh, moderator on your channel yes yes katie please please give me carrot for ishan please let's trade and uh, no what please <laughs> carrot is our carrot it's forever our carrot i'm i'm giving you ishan don't you want ishan i mean come on don't don't ask me to make a choice between those two you can you can be greedy katie ishan is crocodile already <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. You, yeah. I have to. I have to, Katie. I mean, uh, you took my mod. I had to take yours. Okay, but uh, carrot is forever crocodile, so be careful with that. <laughs> friend, uh, I, I, also, I also have Sente on my uh, channel, by the way. And I think I'm also going to make him a mod, you know. Uh, guys, uh, if you're on Katie's channel and if she refuses to make you a mod, you're welcome on my channel. There's there's one mod uh, free. Uh, I have just lost a mod to Katie, and uh, there's there's one free slot for someone from Twitch from Katie's channel. Oh God! Unbelievable. <laughs> ah no, uh, not this no, game, I'm Katie. Not, I'm not questioning why you should run run away from you. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, uh, that was that was mean. That was rude. but uh not not this game kitty uh one where anand had the white pieces and fabi had the black oh what's the system tree at this tournament i'm not really following to be honest yes uh, so the gashimo memorial it's a uh, rapid chess two games and uh, if the rapid games uh, have a tie if it's like 1-1 then they have an armageddon uh, oh, it's it's, cool. it's Yeah, it's Anand White and Karwana Black. I think it was round uh, six. Yeah, I just found it. See you, Carrot. Yes. So just just go back one more, which is the position I have on my stream as well. Ah, <gasps> what? There was a blunder in like one more. Yes, this was the position, and uh, Karwana played Bishop C three here, and at this point, Vishy could. Uh, he has to go with the rook to c2 and he has 1 minute and 37 seconds you know it's not even like he has like 5 seconds or 10 seconds and somehow he played the rook to e2 i just couldn't understand this i mean it was shocking for me when i saw this i i don't know how to explain this you know what happened uh, yeah how i mean again yeah, i have sure, seen you know, when you play online you ca- call it mouse sleep or you call it a blunt but over the board Yes, over the board, the queen is right in front of the rook, and I have I have seen these type of blunders happen with grandmasters, but they were in very high pressure games, you know, like the World Cup, for example, and they happen to usually very young people, teenagers. Like it happened to Nihal, it happened once with uh, Parimarjan Negi, but for Vishy, you know, at this age, after having uh, won so many World Championship matches. in a normal open event i i couldn't i couldn't wrap my head around this uh, how how this mistake got provoked and uh, how he played rook e2 and uh, yeah, a lot queen into e2 it just missed this like even rook a2 makes sense here like it's not a blunder like it's like 
if you take with the rook, then queen e, queen e eight, queen g six back. Uh, oh no, no, it's not a draw. Yeah, it's it's not it's not a draw because after uh, king g eight, queen e eight check, there is queen f eight, uh, yeah, yeah. and queen e six check, queen f seven. It yeah. saves the rook. But but I understand uh, even even rook e two, I will understand. You know, it's 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 possible to miss. But uh, yeah, I mean, you would you would go with the rook to c two, right? It's it's the only possible move. It's yeah. like the method of elimination. And one minute and thirty seven seconds on the clock. Position looks really nice. Yes, exactly. One minute thirty seven. Oh, that's really. What do you guys think in 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 our chat? What's the reason for this kind of unfortunate blunder? Like this kind of blunders makes you feel so uh, distracted, like. Um, it's not like you you lost a game because you fight it and you lost him some variation or you lost because of bad calculation or you lost because of the uh, you have some hole in the line. No, it's just it's just one move and you don't you cannot really even think that you can do such thing right when you are like uh, preparing for a tournament in in your preparation and try to work. Absolutely, and you know uh, when I when I teach people. And I, I really try hard to understand these things, you know, why people make mistakes like this, what exactly goes through their brain uh, when they hand pieces, when they make blenders and what can they try to do to uh, improve on those things so that it doesn't happen. Because when people start playing chess at first, I think the most common mistake they make is they leave pieces hanging uh, to be captured by their opponent. And if they stop doing that, and if they start um, capturing the opponent's pieces when it's hanging, uh, they automatically become at a much higher level when they are starting out. So I I, I try I try to understand uh, exactly what happens, and uh, what my best uh, my best uh, my closest way of explaining it is uh, cognitive overload. You know, uh, it means. Uh, our brain, it's its also like any other muscle. And uh, when we are playing chess, we are constantly solving difficult tasks. And it takes a lot of strain for the brain to do that. Each difficult task we solve, uh, it, it becomes more tired. And when it, when it goes past a certain, uh, it, when it goes past a certain level of fatigue, then all kinds of such blackouts can happen. And apart from uh, getting tired, it, it also affects your brain when your uh, emotion or mood is bad, which happens when you're having a bad tournament or uh, sometimes, you know, problems outside of chess. And uh, yeah, I think there was also another factor which I don't quite remember. But all, all these things have an effect. Uh, yeah, also also your age, you know, when you, when you get older, uh, your brain becomes uh, fatigued faster. Just again, uh, it's it's quite like the muscles. You lift weights, uh, and then after the third, on the third set, you're struggling to complete your set because uh, it's the muscle is tired. Mm. Yeah, for that, it's very good to always like solve more puzzles and do some brain activities. Like there are tons of exercises um, you can usually do when you're like. I also feel sometimes that when I'm too tired, I am working too much. Uh, at the period I can work like in a row like one month in a row like 12 hours a day I don't feel anything I'm, I'm very energetic and so on but then at one point just collapsing and I cannot get back to on my food and then I like even after after resting one week or two weeks my brain is just can't remember the things where is the things that I know it takes me forever to remember and remember and I understand that I'm just burning my brain just because of this not to divide my energy and also Sri, like for me I'm a very emotional person uh, um, and when I play chess if like additional things distract me which is very normal thing I know it's I cannot play it's just, the same I for me play I know I know uh, like you know when when I have some other problems outside of chess and if it distracts me 
Uh, I just cannot. So some of my worst tournaments where I have lost like thirty rating points, forty rating points, it's always something outside of chess that's going on. And I think there are two types of chess players here. You know, there are some who have problems in life, but chess really distracts them. They can get completely involved with chess, and sometimes they play really well when they have uh, uh, something uh, when something uh, distracts them in uh, outside of chess. and then uh, i think there are some type uh, uh, some types of chess players when something goes bad outside of chess they just cannot focus on chess and uh, for me i'm the second type you know when when i have problems or when i'm not in a good mood i just cannot focus and i i think i think that's that's the more common type yeah yeah it can be um when you know when i was uh, like uh like under 18 like the, before my 20s uh my coach told me like one of my coach told me that there was one player who who stopped playing chess because she couldn't sleep well and it was very distracting for her and also she was very emotional and these things were affecting and i was like how is that possible like i and i understood like after my 20s this like other things distract my chess so much that i, I lost I lost many things just because I had a bad day. Um and uh before that when I was for instance kid when I was a teenager I really had not this my, my a kind of distractions and I was fully focused on chess even this kind of distractions like there were some parents were really um trying to hard to it was sort of motivation for me it's like okay you told me this i'm going to win and make you even more sad so it was other way but then after 20s the, my my mindset changed totally and i was just losing a game because someone told me something rude and i was feeling uh very sad about that and i was so much focused on that that i was losing my game and how how bad is this that you are use, missing your chances uh, just because you are getting emotional and i think those players who are like controlling their emotions have like um more advantage in in chess um rather than for, yes. for instance players like myself like um i'm trying to cut the social media Uh, or any other kind of distractions when i'm playing chess myself because like one little thing can affect me so much that uh, it, it it's it's incredible yes like, uh, you, you know uh, whether did this during the world cup in sochi he uh, completely switched off social media and uh, he i think that really helped him he uh, went till the quarter final Uh, so I, I was the coach of the Indian team for Sochi, and I was like uh, with its, uh, I was like with its voice and eyes of the social media. I was I was bringing his videos and photos and yeah, putting it out after each game, <laughs> which was really good for my channel, by the way. So I'm happy that it worked out that way. Uh, it's right. Yeah, we have seen it. Uh, Shri, there is a question. Does someone standing ne- near forward and watching your game distract affect you? Uh, it used to when I was younger. It used to. Uh, now it doesn't anymore. Um, it doesn't. You know, unless unless it's a, it's like a crush or something, which then motivates you. Uh, at least in my case. but this is not an opponent like some someone someone else yeah i know like someone someone who's watching and uh, for me uh, somehow it it depends uh, so when i was uh, when i was younger i had a lot of expectations from my uh, parents so then uh, when my uh, dad watched i sometimes uh, it felt pressurizing you know i immediately uh, thought of the expectations and uh, it used to affect me either positively or negatively uh, depending on uh, the circumstances but uh, when i when i became older it it really stopped affecting me and i think in more recent times uh, i uh, i find that it motivates me more when i uh, see people watching you know for example once i started streaming and i had my uh, i had this community in youtube and discord and uh, when uh, when 
when I realized that there are people who are watching me play, uh, it made it made me a lot more motivated when I played in uh, Bangladesh. I uh, I felt responsible that you, you know. You played a very good tournament there, by the way. We were following your games. <laughs> thank you. Yes, uh, but also also I, I should say that I have a really positive community. You know. my chat my youtube comments uh, i think it's filled with like 95% 98% positive comments which is not normal by the way i don't think it's the case for uh, everyone uh, big shout out to my chat my subscribers and uh, they they are they are a fun lot they are very positive although yeah. they make fun of me and uh, always out the other option of what i want Yeah, it's true actually. But uh, there is a there is a thing like uh, this comment of oh, destruction, right? Yes, so you absolutely. Have motivations when you were playing chess tournaments. <laughs> uh sorry, uh, there was a, just a bit of lag uh, when uh, the last few seconds so refresh my stream if that happens. Uh so to answer your question, uh I think so. Yeah, I think I think I got I got motivated when I uh, I got motivated at times, you know, when I when someone was watching, and uh, I wanted to. No, no, no! I asked something else. Like when a crush was watching, right? <laughs> yeah, yes, have you had yes. Motivations at your. Yes, time? yes, I had motivations. I, 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 I wanted to, uh, make a good impression when I noticed them watching, and I liked that person. Yeah. Which, which, which were girls? Just to clarify, because my chat is going uh, the other way. <laughs> I also had my motivation crushes at chess tournaments. Oh. And there was a one day and some random I was just picking on some random guy and uh when I was saying this guy was coming just not even it's it's my game or something just in the playing bedy I was like ha, hi. <laughs> I lost on game because he did not came one day. Oh. I was looking around I'm like oh my god. So oh. I lost that game and uh, when did when which year was this? <laughs> uh that that one thing I remember um it was um <laughs> it took, okay I'll tell you funny sorry. It was at world championship I became world champion under uh, 18 back then. What? Uh was it under 18? I was 15 years 16. old okay ah okay 16 I was yeah not doing got when it. I was 18 years old I was when I was a teenager <laughs> <laughs> Eight, 18 is also a teenager kathy and I think I think even yeah. even in the under 20 people uh, get yeah. completely distracted so easily Yeah it was a distraction it was good for me like it was making me happy and then after this, Yeah it was I, not I, distraction I, it was attraction yeah Yeah, exactly it's, it's a difference and then i i was thinking i was thinking because one day he didn't show up and i think i didn't lose their game maybe i meant join the last moment because he showed at the last moment and then i said to myself kelly choose the one which is always in the playing venue and who is always in the playing venue arbiters <laughs> <laughs> so my next year no it was about arbiters and it worked so that was the um You see how how we were playing chess. <laughs> I I I didn't see that coming. Not the arbiters part. But uh, guy, but okay for the people watching, uh, if they want to get into chess in some way, then uh, there's some incentive to become arbiters too. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's never been like talking or or smiling or something. It was just 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 like someone who brings emotions and. Yeah, I don't know why I was just picking those people. Yes, I was very much like, oh my god, I don't sound good. I should stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing good. You can keep going. <laughs> Where is it? He he's making some stories over here. It it's very <laughs> honest and <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I I lost connection to your chat. I didn't see what they were saying. they cut you or what no i think i think i got disconnected for a short time oh okay but my chat is loving it 
and uh, maybe uh, the clips people are also watching it kitty's confessions uh, i'm stopping i'm stopping doing this <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and I see I see your chat. Like um oh, what's happening? No. Not nothing 27. Thank you so much for gifting subs to the community. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there is like some some distractions and there is some something that helps you, right? To to play because come on guys, we're sitting there for 6 hours. We we should think. Uh, you, you guys think we're thinking all the time about chess? Of course not. Uh, I think it's better if they think that. <laughs> I think it's better if they have that impression. Maybe we shouldn't spill all our secrets at once. Yeah, like once one secret one time oh thank you so much love from fresh chat love back ah nothing 27 <clears throat> is from my chat yeah. is it a he i don't see him I in my know. chat nothing 27 is uh, says love from fresh chat <laughs> but yeah uh, that is there some real love from uh, my chat for sure and uh, i think by now it's 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 almost like our chats are like uh, mixed yeah uh i have i have you have mods from my channel i have mods from your channel i have your chat open you have my chat open <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> yeah okay now it's your it's it's your time for uh tell me i will go now to live game to follow mm-hmm. uh and now it's your time to tell some uh, some weird story like i did so it will make me look less weird <laughs> <laughs> i think i think i think i should send link to ad <laughs> i should send the zoom link to ad he's still posting he said that he is a new person now he's married and stuff but he's still posting about his b3 things i know and uh... Uh, I'm I'm very curious to see the new version of AD, the new version. I I met him recently, you know. I met him in uh, uh, there was a mentalist who came from uh, who came to Chennai to do a show, and uh, uh, so mentalists they are people who can read minds yeah, by yeah, watching yeah, your I body know. language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the, there are two uh, amazing mentalists who are like part of the YouTube India our community. and uh, there is uh, here yeah, so one is suhani shah and the other is uh, karan singh and uh, karan singh he uh, visited uh, chennai to do a show and uh, so the amazing things they they do absolutely amazing things you know they have such wonderful uh, way of making shows and uh, with karan singh he he just managed to guess the password of my phone uh, just by uh, watching my body language you know just the way i say things yes he did it so effortlessly and uh, it was uh, it was amazing he was brilliant uh, and you know with i i'm i'm in general a person who doesn't give away a lot with expressions yeah i just um, i'm not so expressive but he was able to make it out so easily and that was like the One oh one. He got your phone password and the bank account and the password. Of course, he used it. So. <laughs> no, he so didn't get my bank account password because I don't remember it myself. So <laughs> you can call I, and ask him. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Actually, uh, Raj says that he has seen that show, like it was live or something. Uh, no, but uh, it it was on YouTube. It was on YouTube, okay. Yeah, I'll I'll send you the link. So it was on uh, Karan Singh's channel, and uh, also AD made a video of it. So I was the only one who went there for genuine friendship. You know, people have changed a lot the con- these days, con- Katie. People have changed a lot these days. You know, uh, back in the day in twenty nineteen, you met someone and you were like, "Hi," and then. Uh, In twenty twenty, every time I meet with it, he comes in like this, and uh, he's like, "This is how he says hi now." I know that. I 
know that. That's how I felt actually. Yeah. Mm. So there was like in um in uh, in Dubai when I went, I I planned to do some streams. I was doing some streams. And then I realized that either I'm just having good time with my friend or I'm freaking them out. Uh, I'm sorry. I, to, yeah. Uh, I started to, to stream or not, not on, on Twitch. It was like really bad connection, but on Instagram, it was like. Ah, the easier. Instagram live. Yes. Yeah. And that freaked people out so much that I understood that either I'm hanging out with my friends or I'm just alone there and streaming. It was really oh, weird. Oh. People were changing their habits and they were like, you know, ghosting and frozen like this when they they, they, when they were on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I felt like, okay, it's not comfortable for everyone. Like it can be comfortable for you when you're streaming. But also myself, when I knew that someone was streaming, I was like always asking, are you streaming? And when it's like, yes, then I was changing my behavior. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, it, it's it's the same, you know. Not not everyone is comfortable, and I feel really uncomfortable taking my camera out uh, like that with uh, people who are not part of the streaming community. Yeah. Uh, so when we had the online Olympiad in India, like uh, I think there were like two two groups of people. Yeah, there was one with uh, there was one with Vidit and Sagar and Tanya, uh, then AD. You know, people who are in YouTube already, who are comfortable with the phone and camera. And of course, Amrita, who always has the camera uh, pointing at you every single moment. And I know, I've been there. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, right? It's like there's a mobile camera and you're always on, you're always live. And yeah. anything can be uh, on the Chess Base India Clips channel. I know they're doing an amazing job, both of them. I am really, really um, very much like thankful Inspired. also to, to them because they are showing so much of chess players' lives. And they are the first who actually brought this, like to show people and the tournament from other perspective and to show all of this. Like, okay, you might not feel comfortable or something but they, there are some people who who wants to see it and who wants to be shown and they are doing a really nice job i'm like i'm really amazed by their work uh, absolutely the link, by the way uh for the video yeah 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 oh, ah, I, I, I thought i'll send it to you after the stream because i don't think we can play it now anyway okay okay let's do but it uh i can send it to you right now too okay I was scared to open it uh, during the stream in case I get a copyright strike. Yeah, he will. Uh, he will claim for copyright for sure. Yeah, he would. He wouldn't do that. But sometimes uh, YouTube automatically flags content and yep. uh, stops streams. Do we have any more rounds today at um, at at the tournament in in Azerbaijan? Uh, yes, there is the Armageddon. Uh, game which starts in uh, six minutes and 20 seconds uh, uh, between uh, uh, who navara report anand uh, sadly and i think it's Anand-Sadli. between uh, uh i don't know who is it between no between who uh hang on let me check not this one Rapport not Oh, we should lost the match. Yeah, we should lost the match. Uh, I mean, it it was it's unbelievable. Navara lost the match. Corona. Corona lost the match. That's uh, Mohamed of Rauf and Sergey Karyakin. Oh no, me- I no Shri, there I don't see. Ah, yeah, that maybe there's no Armageddon, but I don't know why. Uh, yeah, maybe there's no Armageddon. Meanwhile, I love the banter on my uh, chat uh, between Carrot and Ishan. What? Carrot is really cool, by the way. Oh, he's really cool, yes. He's starting to become one of my favorite mods already. He, uh, Although he's not, I don't think he has um, experience as a moderator. Uh, but sometimes... Oh, no. Uh, he, he doesn't have to. Uh, there are, there are two, two types of mods, you know. There are the ones who actually uh, moderate the chat 
and there are uh, there are some like uh, ad and uh, divya who are like uh, the vips you know they are the, it's it's a decoration they don't have to do the actual mod duties and they shouldn't because if ad and divya started moderating stuff there would be no one remaining in the chat i know like ad was showing up and he was blocking everyone <laughs> no reason i know and I like, what he's doing uh so sente <laughs> and carrot they are uh, under the special people you know they're the important persons oh my god you guys shri asked me to change to to i don't know how is that like when you kidnap people you kidnap my two moderators okay my, not my two mother my two community you kidnap them from me well you are not you are not making them moderator katie uh, people go where there's love and okay. if they don't uh, get enough on your uh, community then they go <laughs> where they get <laughs> thanks <laughs> Oh so it's so bad that you can make two or so we we could we could we could do some streams uh in the in the streets like uh walking in the streets in the minus 3 <laughs> Oh yeah falling down in the snow <laughs> <sighs> Yeah I hope I wish we had more time like everyone had more time to get ready and to buy tickets and everything I know I know Katie uh I really wanted to play the world rapid and blitz there was also someone asking in my chat or your chat I don't remember it, it all feels the same now because I have uh, your chat open on one screen my chat open on the other but uh I really wanted to play I had booked tickets to uh, Nur Sultan I had uh, paid the registration fee and uh, they uh, I mean it was it was very sad that it had to be moved in short notice and uh, I understand that it is uh, it's not at all easy for the organizers they are uh, doing an amazing job and there are several indian players that I was uh, trying to help uh, I think I mentioned one of them to oh I mentioned one of them to you and he got into the tournament What really he, Yes he got into the tournament hey, grandmaster sankal Congratulations That's great. Thank okay, you. Doesn't know about that, but there is one guy, a uh, junior player, young player, a uh, street student and they um they requested Shri requested to to get him at the world championship. He's he's very close to the rating barrier and he got he got he got the answer this morning, right? Uh yesterday. 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 Okay. Yeah, Perfect. yesterday he woke up and So uh, first he had tried to get in when the tournament was in Kazakhstan and uh, he was refused. Yeah. And then he tried uh, another time when it was in Poland and uh, he he was succeeded and he was really happy. Uh oh he was God, really really huge. happy and it felt so good uh, uh being for him being able to play in the tournament. Wow. And uh, also so many people who were uh, struggling to get the visas but uh, the polish uh, authorities are very very helpful yeah. and they are trying to do everything they can to try and make the visa possible for the players with such short notice so i think yeah. a big shout out again to all the polish authorities all the fide authorities who are also working incredibly hard uh, i cannot imagine the amount of stress they all must be going through you know making things happen in such short it time it even stresses me it even stresses me so much all this and on top of it we we also had uh, european championship planned in advance and two very big events at the same time during the christmas in poland it's just impossible to happen like i still don't believe that things are working so smoothly of course there will be some like difficulties and things like we should be ready like broadcast everyone should be I I don't know about broadcast all the only thing I know it's there I will be a commentator there I also know who will be other commentator but I don't know if the things are fixed so I really cannot say uh but for instance broadcast at European Championship was just um 
the thing that stressed me so much and I you know, know why it stressed me the most not because that I'm also like there and the, the, the most of things like um people think that this is this is us doing it and ah. when the things are not going right oh they are so boring these commentators are cannot do this in white so it's so annoying for me to um to be but part of some bad broadca broadcast right like some bad connection or something because people are pointing at you no one sees what's happening behind the screen so this affects my mood very much absolutely katie but uh, to be honest I, i didn't see a lot of hate comments uh, for the european uh, rapid and blitz uh, i'm not no 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 not not a lot but there are like still some some feedbacks that uh, we're getting about the uh, about the broadcast which is like um and they think that you i'm doing it or you're doing it like we're just people who are like myself i was just given I a know. microphone and you were just a person who was given a link so we cannot do pretty much what we can do right absolutely i i understand you know i also i also had uh, scheduled the stream on my uh, channel and then people were uh, very happy that i was not streaming it and they were like you know i was uh, the one delaying it but to be honest i totally understand why people felt that way and uh, i started the stream with an apology today uh, for making people wait and yeah. uh, not streaming on my channel uh, but i understand i, I think uh, it's 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 normal for people to think that way and somehow it doesn't affect me at all i uh, just gloss over uh, uh some of the criticisms like that um i think i, th I mean it it just doesn't affect me because uh, i think the number of positive comments is like uh yeah. nine times more yeah yeah of course of course but also like the thing is that um uh you know it's going to be like myself i know it's going to be better like it can be way much better this uh, um broadcast and uh the thing is that when uh when you are spending your time and your energy and this is you are putting your image of for this project it it affects you and it can be really good uh just because just because of lack of communication just because not fixing the issues on time it's just uh uh i think it uh, it uh, affects my overall image and also my mood very much yeah like, i can understand of course i want to be part of really nice show but um where where there is some some difficulties like for for instance the bad connection we cannot do pretty much like there should be someone who going to fix it and it was not fixed for 3 days which was uh really bad for for me to work there and uh i don't know it's just so hard overall to um to like to get all these things um on your shoulders cuz they think that commentators are doing this <laughs> and i don't know yeah um, i understand uh i understand but um no carrot carrot thinks that because it's because of the tournament like two tournaments are together no 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 it's it's it broadcast has been always like the, it, everyone has an issue and it seems like it's not like really fixed yet but no, i mean people that... become unhappy when they see bad broadcast and uh, i think it's very justified that they do feel unhappy yeah uh, and of course uh, they don't understand how the setup works in general yes mm -hmm. so they obviously yeah, yeah. blame the people they see on the screen which also i think is pretty normal Yeah, because we we, what we are yeah. we are the representatives yes in general yeah exactly exactly and with this group of people that i'm working uh, it's it, it's it's such a hard time for me to deliver this and them to understand that um besides this for instance that we are getting uh paid for this work we also want to have a good image and not to be called like i don't know yeah wrong commentator for it because we're doing our best what we can and if the mic is not working it's just not because of us right true but you know what i was really happy like no one in the chat from now on will say that i'm doing that job in obvious <laughs> <laughs> i'm happy with that 
Yeah, in my in my in my case, uh, I already had that luxury uh, from the beginning because AD set such standards with OBS, uh, it was impossible to go below that. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I really like. As thinking like, oh God, God, I, I have some issues with mics also with voice. Sometimes the moves are not going on the board, but this much, never. I'm fixing it right away. <laughs> <laughs> and, and one person, like there were like a bunch of like group of people who couldn't fix it on time. So it's not so bad after all, chat. It's not so bad. Indeed. Uh, meanwhile, a lot of people are asking me if I'm going to play the Agad Matter Arena today, which has a first prize of one Bitcoin. And uh, the second prize is almost close to 10,000 US dollars. The third one is 200, uh, $2,500. Uh, dollars. It's amazing uh, prize. It starts uh, sometime in midnight. I'm not playing, guys. There are like almost... 10,000 people registered for it, including uh, Narodetsky, Ali Reza, Andrew Tang, and uh, it's a bullet arena. So there is absolutely no way that I'm going to be able to get close to anywhere near the top three. So I'm not playing uh, in the tournament. Secondly, the legality of cryptocurrency in India is very unclear. So, you know, there's a good chance that I might uh, win the tournament, win one BTC and then end up going to jail. You can stream from jail. <laughs> I. <laughs> Do you guys want to watch that? Why not? <laughs> he will stream more often though. Hikaru is also playing. That's awesome. Oh yeah, my chat is going. Hikaru is also playing, but I don't. I don't see him. What is Hikaru's user ID on Leeches? Yeah, that would be incredible. Yeah, chess, chess player goes crazy. to jail for winning a chess tournament. Because I don't know how much you will be in jail. Like, let's say two years, three years. It's gonna be like <laughs> at least twenty hours of streaming. Oh, if you have an internet, of course. Many hours. It's amazing. Jails in India, Shreem. Um, I wouldn't know, Katie. I, I don't. I don't have any experience yet. But maybe I'll. No, I'll no, be I able to tell you in a few weeks. Vlog <laughs> <laughs> from my jail. <laughs> because uh, once I had Padmini at uh, at a broadcast, uh, we were doing Chess for Prisons, Chess for Freedom project. And she, she told us that she was the head of the coaching uh, at prisons. Uh, and um, yeah, she was sharing some, uh, um, some, uh, some experience that they had at the prison. And uh, I thought you will, and she said that many grandmasters were part of it. And I thought you were also part of it. Uh, sorry, uh, what, was, what was the... I was, I was distracted by my Discord. No, no, no. I, I meant that there is this project Chess for Freedom. Mm -hmm. And Padmini, we had this project and Padmini was our guest. And he to she told us that uh, they were like a bunch of great masters part of it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They, they were a part of it. Yes, they were yeah. a part of it. Yeah. True. Yeah. It's a luxury of crying. <laughs> uh, Carrot, uh, Carrot kind of distracted me with some going on in my Discord where Ishan was creating drama as usual, saying that he's leaving my Discords. He's completely retiring from all his mod duties and uh, Carrot will be taking care of the server from now on. <laughs> and then people are like, no, Ishan, don't go. Oh my god, it's happening now? Yeah. Wow. I'm not living. I'm retiring. <laughs> there he goes again. Uh, 
I mean, if it is not clear, it is not clear. It is not clear. There is a bill waiting, and it is not clear. There is no, no misinformation about that. I know what happened, Venetian. I was actually thinking about this when I was walking. Um, I think that he is a bit worried uh, that AD got married, and now he is like all this family guy. And mm-hmm. he's not spending that much time online. And he kind of feels that his soulmate just, you know, got another soulmate. And he is now left with his B3 alone. <laughs> oh, so AD is Ishan's soulmate? I think so. Like, they were like, yeah, I don't know. He should speak out. Oh, interesting. I didn't know this. But I think it makes sense. Yes, uh, Ishan could 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 have felt betrayed by AD. Uh, yeah. That that makes a lot of sense because he's been throwing a lot of tantrums since AD's marriage, and uh, uh, I think it really set him off. Uh, but also, there are rumors in uh, Discord about AD. Uh, sorry, Ishan's another soulmate. The name starts with J, so I don't know which one is true. J. Yeah, he has. He has been. Uh, he apparently has a soulmate whose name starts with J. Uh, uh, Ishan didn't tell you about it, yes? No. Maybe, maybe he's not as close to you as you think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We'll see. Okay, sure. Let me tell you something and change the topic. <laughs> uh, do you know about um, uh, chocolate beans, which is, um, do you know these things? Uh, I think I do. What's inside? Can I Google? You know, when I said, uh, can I Google, two of my phones started flashing and Google was ready to take my command. I, I heard when you Googled actually and press enter. So this is um, this is the chocolate beans. It was very popular when I was a kid and inside mm-hmm. of it, it's an alcohol. Oh. And, oh, thank you so much at Shinka for this up. And sometimes there's like round ones and sometimes it's alcohol and cherry inside. So when oh. you're a kid and drinking is illegal for you, you always have chocolate beans and drink it. Ah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. It was sort of a trick for, uh, for kids in our family to get some alcohol when we were kids. But it doesn't <laughs> taste so good, that. right? I mean, it doesn't taste like chocolate, does it, when you're a kid? What? Uh, it doesn't taste like, uh, I mean, with alcohol, it doesn't taste so good when you're a kid, right? With uh, It doesn't taste quite like chocolate. I think yeah, it kind of yeah, destroys the taste. Yeah, you try what's alcohol because everyone gets it and you don't and you just want to know what's Yeah, alcohol. I know, I know. And when FOMO. it's chocolate and sometimes cherry, you don't really feel an alcohol unless you eat like, we were eating like whole, whole we had like big box. And each of us could have like 10 or something, which is, uh, I don't know, one glass of alcohol. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I can't complain. So you don't know these things. Yep. We didn't. Hmm. Okay. But Ruki says it tastes good. It tastes good. And uh, I can see Carrot judging you in the chat. A lot of confessions by you uh, today, Katie, uh, about your uh, thoughts when you're 15 years old, uh, the kind of chocolates you like to consume when you're a kid. No, at the age of 15, no, no, this is, uh, this is when we're kids, like 10 years old. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I was just highlighting the stream in general. Oh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm showing my best sides today. And also... Uh, dropping a hint for people who want to clip and make shots and edits. I don't know if you guys have this in India, uh, but here we have it. So I'll, I'm gonna try to get you one. No, I, I, I don't think I don't think it's it would be uh, widely available in India for sure. Uh, as, at least not as far as I know. It's uh, not not 
not a popular uh, uh, alcohol is not popular in india right no i mean alcohol is uh, it's normal uh, i mean there is a legal age and everything uh, it's different in uh, different parts of india in some parts it's 18 in some parts it's 21 in some parts it's 25 uh, so that's not uh, too anish i mean that's not any different Did you say but anish <laughs> <laughs> no unusual <laughs> okay but uh, i think uh, the chocolate yeah, with okay, alcohol this like i don't think it's culture, popular culture right what cu- like cultural thing what families are like yes like yes thing. yes i think i think it's it's not like uh, i mean india is a very big country so you have different cultures in different parts of the country but uh, i think in many parts uh, alcohol is it's not exactly uh, a normal part of the culture it's not it's not your regular thing for celebrations and stuff but again it depends on which part of the india you are talking about it it's all yeah, yeah. um yeah it's i think it's the same in 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 like my country even though it's like for instance my region is a wine region and we do have more wine than water but uh, still like when women drinks uh like um voluntarily uh it's sort of like oh she's drinking yeah yeah <laughs> Baby, she's i know also smoking i know i think <laughs> i think like, i think that goes a long chain you know uh so yeah it's like pretty much depends on the um but this is in georgia want, or uh, poland sorry uh is this in georgia or poland in in georgia in georgia ah yeah i think i think india and georgia have many similarities yeah many many similarities uh starting from food to culture yeah that's true i think so too also you know uh, what i noticed uh alcohol addiction or addictions of such kind is very common uh, in uh, people with uh, low economy you know bad economy low income i i find that they get addicted very uh, easily and uh, the people who are buying and consuming alcohol a lot uh, and i noticed this a lot in uh, india and uh, the south american countries uh, i mean south american countries it was not my direct experience but a friend of mine who lived there told me and uh, yeah i mean somehow it, it's it's surprising you would think that you know alcohol is expensive and it's a luxury but if you watch the people uh, out there queuing uh in the state uh the state run uh, alcohol uh, outlets it's an enormous number of people who are from uh, low income households low income economy uh, of course they are largely men and uh, it's it's incredible that i mean how how it's linked the habit it, it for me i would think that if your income was low such luxuries have uh, i mean they are the last thing that would be on your mind but uh, it it's it it somehow that their life is so difficult or I, it would be difficult for me to understand oh wow thank you red so much for the donation is that for 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 alcohol <laughs> <laughs> he understands you he understands you <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay guys I have to I have to admit something I feel so stressed and depressed that I got one bottle of beer <laughs> But why kids Ah because of the broadcast problems No 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 it's just too much of emotions and thank you Red, so 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 much I appreciate now this is not for alcohol and it's for laptop and I want to get new laptop or phone to stream when I'm not here and thank you so 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 much Red, for it don't use it for alcohol <laughs> now he's worried that I will, I will use all the money for alcohol um uh... no guys no 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 Now the thing is that um <clears throat> is that um 
too many things happen at the same time. And I'm very emotional. Even like good things and bad things when they are happening together. Uh, it's too much. And sometimes I like when you when you feel like you want to be like just to relax and so on, it's it's okay, but then I don't even feel uh, like peace. I don't really find my peace for this time to relax. I prefer to be among the people, just to talk, maybe not to walk, but just to, um, to I don't know, get some more emotions. And when I'm, um, and when I'm home, I don't really like, uh, help. it doesn't help me. Like I, it's, it's not relaxing for me I don't know if I'm talking right to that <laughs> like I'm not that kind of person who stays at home watch some movies get some hot right. chocolate stays in bed and that's good for for I it, it stresses me it stresses me a lot this kind of routine yeah I I, I understand I mean uh, I, I I think I would be totally comfortable with that with that kind of a routine but uh, I understand it's it can be different for different people yeah So, Katie, what are your plans uh, till the world rapid and blitz the next four days? Um, so, I will do Aside too from... much streaming mm -hmm. uh, because I do like this. Um, and um, this is kind of, kind of socializing for me too, with, with the chat and we're having a really good time. Um, and um, then I have to do some work um to record some videos uh before i leave just get ready for a world to world championship happy crocodile videos Sorry? happy crocodile videos <laughs> not yet not yet i'm not recording any happy crocodile videos yet uh it's just um daily puzzles for chesscom mm -hmm. i'll do that and um I have to send several invoices <laughs> in the end of the year, which I'm so not happy with. Uh, but it's nice, no? I mean, the invoices are nice. Or is it is it for things you already received payment for? No, no, no. I will receive. I have not received yet. Oh, um, so it's nice. I mean, it's money it's nice rolling when, in. when you receive the invoice, but when you have to create it and calculate all these hours and stuff, it's just, ah. Ah, okay. <laughs> Work. yeah well, we have to do it sometimes like there is some cases that i'm doing some projects and I, i'm forgetting it and i'm getting some money in my bank and it's like what the hell is this um and i don't see it where it's from in my, my messages and after like a one month or two months i'm requesting my money and they're telling me that's already said <laughs> it makes me feel and look really bad probably <laughs> yeah i i always uh, immediately update uh, everything i'm doing in i record it somewhere so i usually don't forget okay, uh, on an excel nice. sheet yeah. meanwhile katie has uh, sorry uh, ishan has pasted your link in the chat and guys do check it out Katie is uh, amazing. Uh, apparently, she's Ishan's favorite streamer. I'd be curious to know what AD thinks of that. But <laughs> yes, guys, do check it out in the chat and uh, do follow her on her uh, Twitch. Twitch, uh, the link of which is there in the chat, and it's also there in the pin chat now. Thanks a lot, Trian and guys, everyone. Um we will do the same uh, i think we also yeah we have the link which will like appear right now shrinet likes the payment immediately i do <laughs> oh uh, yes. are you part of the chess.com commentator of the year uh, awards uh i think yes um wait like it, there i should be nominated there or anyone can be nominated I think uh, not everyone can be nominated, but it seems like you have been nominated because that's what Sente says in my chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sent this link, but um, okay, I can vote for myself, of course. Uh, I well, actually, you can actually. vote for yourself if you want to. <laughs> ten, ten times every day. 
um oh i didn't know that there were like several uh options like i thought everyone could be like whoever worked uh no oh, i didn't know it uh you yeah you're, you're one of the nominees and uh yeah you can you can yeah please paste the link on the chat so people can go and vote for katie from here as well oh that's so nice really thanks a lot i completely forgot about that but yeah sente 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 knows everything and he's very um yeah he's very up to date is the word like he he knows what's going on everywhere yes and uh ishan does too that i should there was like some years ago uh there was some competition uh the world chat you something like beauty contest in chess players mm -hmm. uh, which is always kind of you know shady right when, like i don't know how they're choosing this um this these people who are there but anyway, it was it was uh, it was there, and I was among those uh, participants. Um, and I just told my grandma because uh, I was sharing a lot of things with her, and she took this so seriously. Oh my god! She managed to get so much votes for me that I took second place. <laughs> wow! This was <laughs> on a chess tournament. Was, um, Kostinuk because back then I think she was like world champion like it was like something and no one really knew me uh, I was just I don't know 16 years old or something and my grandma sent to everyone at her work and all her friends and they shared their friends and they made such a big line and she was calling everyone every day if they voted and she made people to supervise some group of people <laughs> they were calling though them and i was like grandma come on just stop it don't do it i was really ashamed and um then at some point she asked me if i vote as well and i was like yeah i voted and there was one girl who is now my friend, she's from uh, UAE, she's the arbiter and the very beautiful one. And I was like, yeah, I voted for her. And she was so upset at me because of my vote, <laughs> just one vote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And after that, I just decided that just to stay out of any voting because I'm not doing it well. But uh, you would you would notice the arbiters, yeah? Uh, sorry, what? You would notice the arbiters, yes? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, she was not arbiter back then. <laughs> Akastinik was the first one. I don't know if I can find the link. It was really old. They know it was quite a drama back then, like in social media, people were complaining why those group of people were there, not others. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there is also some nice. Um, some nice voting things like best chess couples have you heard of it no uh no strongest chess couples and this kind of like they're like list of the strong chess couples couple so. uh i have heard of this but uh, i don't think i have uh, seen it anywhere you know who made it piotr who was doing um just the commentary the big screen <laughs> ah he he like uh made the poll or uh he organized it or he won he won this uh he organized he created uh it's not a voting he created a post about it right uh by meanwhile while we are talking about this uh chess.com uh, votes there is also a vote for the best move and uh, one of the nominated games is of uh, Nihal Sarin against Noel Studer and uh, I have it on my screen right now. Let me send the link uh, to you as well, Katie. And there was a move, Rook C1? Uh, 
so rook c1 is white's last move and now it's black's turn to move so before uh katie wa warning you because you might have lost some practice black to play and you can try to find uh, which move nihal played here which has been one of the most nominated in the uh, uh, chess.com poll I it's an amazing move Yeah, yeah, I've seen it, but I can't recall the correct one. Uh, I also put, I also pasted it in your uh, chat, uh, oh, yeah. the game. So you can also put it up, and people know what we are talking about. That's right. My chat already knows it. They know they or they found it right now. But it was an amazing move. It is an amazing move. and uh, i think there are two things that deserves uh, the award today from this stream i mean from the chess.com uh, poll one of them is uh, of course the commentator of the year for which we have voted for kt and uh, the second one is nihal's move bishop f1 here uh, oh i give it away Wow, this is the move that I'm going to vote. You guys, where is the link to vote? <laughs> Seriously, Ishan, can you please link the uh, uh, send the link in the chat? Uh, yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't do that in your chat. He 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 doesn't work uh, so hard, you know. Uh, he, uh, I mean, he talks a lot, uh, but. as a mod you cannot really ha ah, sente that is sente yes Th you know this is why i make i made sente a mod and uh, also carrot they 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 really uh, get get work done okay 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 i'm watching for this esipenko carlson van for estuda Nepomniashi. Uh, we're looking for. Uh... Sure, where is the game? Yeah, I'm just a bit sad that my uh, Catalan course is not nominated for course of the year. But uh, to be fair, uh, uh, they uh, don't. Uh, they don't have chess able courses on chess. dot com. Wow, I haven't seen this. Creators. Commentators. Oh wow. Commentators, look at this. <laughs> Robert has Vishy Anand, Hammer Mosinchuk, Amen Havel, Narditsky. That's a hell of a competition. How I get in there? I think you need your grandma's help again, Katie. I think it's time to call her. <laughs> wow. Akshat, uh, welcome to the nights. And he's asking, why don't you vote together? Now the thing is, uh, why I'm not showing this on stream right now is because it has like fifteen uh, different fields, and it would take a long time to fill them up. So. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's I'm, why I'm not... still going to fill this up because this is really cool thing. So, who are you going to vote for the commentator of the year, Katie? Oh, uh, we have three options, so this is really good. Uh, and let me really quickly check it. Uh, wow, all those people are so cool, actually. Wow, Ishan is back! Oh my god, how? Ishan is back to being my member. You know, uh, do you know, uh, like, do you know there are people who date mo uh, two people at once? What? Who? Uh, who? Uh, dub? Uh, who two time? You know, uh, date more than one person. They go out with more than one person. Date. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, Ishan is doing exactly that. No, it's not doing dating two two people at the same time. You guys broke up. Now you are together. No, he's also he broke up with me. He went to you, and now he's also back as member in my channel. 
So he's two timing. I'm fine with that. I want him to be back, and then I want you guys to fix these things. I know, I know. <laughs> you are trying to get rid of him, just like me. No. <laughs> I can totally understand how. No, it's not true. I just want you guys to to be happy because you are blaming me that I took Ishan from you, which I didn't, and you are taking two of my community as your moderators. <laughs> I'm happy with these two new people. I don't want my old. Uh... <laughs> I don't want my. To see you. Okay, we can share him. We can share him. <laughs> I'll show you. There was one funny story I've heard. There was a guy in uh, in in USA who had two lives probably has still I don't know uh, so he mm -hmm. was in between two states and he had families in both states and he was traveling from one family to another family during one year like years and he was just doing this very casually like like, like oh my no god way. I cannot imagine the stress that he has to go through <laughs> seriously he's creating that stress tree I know Why would he do that for himself? But then I look at Ishan and I have my answer. <laughs> Some people just enjoy creating Drums. drama. I know. Okay, I will save this link for voting because I think we should submit it like once. Mm -hmm. Rising star. By the way, uh, Katie, are you commentating on the title Tuesday today? And no, uh, no, no. I'm not. Uh, also, just to explain uh, this position to the chat, although most people already have seen it, uh, Nayanjit is asking in the chat what happens after King into F one, and if White takes King into F one, then Queen H one is checkmate. So this is the point. This and is a brilliant move. Absolutely. What and bishop f1 i'm if he takes with the rook then it's bishop and f2 check and mm -hmm. it's a discovered check against the queen yeah this is really nice indeed Guys, this, is, this is really nice and he found it right indeed. yes he found it he found it wow. uh, he finds these things in uh, blitz games nice and then he's doing a lot of like studies or puzzles how 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 he's training <laughs> he plays the online blitz i also play online blitz but i never found brilliant moves katy uh, i think he has played like 100000 online blitz games how many, how much have you played i, I think it's something more than 100000 wow also also someone in my chat uh, raises a legit question you know uh, anish is uh, nominated for the creator of the year for maybe doing like five streams four streams a year and vidith is not <gasps> no how come i know like why would vidith not be nominated for the creator of the year uh, he's very active in youtube he streams he does vlogs he has more subscribers than anish really uh so i mean nothing against anish but it's 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 a bit funny that vidith has been left out wow it's it's actually a very surprising omission to me because i think vidith is uh, amongst the top creators in india maybe uh, after samay sagar it's basically vidith Ah, so maybe maybe they exhausted the quota of Indian nominees uh, after Samay and Saga. Maybe they didn't want uh, more than two from the yeah, country. Probably. In that case, I'm 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 the winner in any <laughs> competition. Oh no no no, we have Lila actually. We have Lila. Um, and ah. we have Sapika as well. So. Oh yeah. Uh. You pronounce her name as uh, Lila. 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 How you pronounce? Uh, Lila. Lila. Same. 
yeah but i thought i thought uh, the way you pronounce was like l e e l e and i pronounce it like yeah okay it's the same it's just a different oh yeah uh, she she has uh, i think uh, made a lot of progress yeah in recent times oh yeah she's in, really on sweet. twitch she's yeah 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 she's a re- really nice person very uh, positive and um somehow i feel really uh, i've never told this before but i really feel bad for her because uh, she is very talented girl and somehow she's not getting enough opportunities in my country which is very bad true i have been in her situation when i was um, in her age even younger uh, i've never got any opportunities for my chess career but i started something different and i'm 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 happy with that but they're doing this constantly with everyone and the talents like lila is just is just going somewhere else which is not right in my opinion she is the girl who got medal at the school together while she was playing chess very very like actively oh so it's not easy to to end this school at gold medal it means that you always had like high high marks in every subject for 12 years and on top of it she was doing a lot of chess activities like she was playing a lot of chess tournaments and she was training a lot and okay this pandemic and everything stopped her like traveling she was also supposed to come in poland now uh, but for for those players who federation supported they had tournament and they are they they used to play and travel even during covid because they supported uh, them and somehow right. i feel really unfair for for her just to you know and there, there there's always some years that it's the best years are when you're like in between like in from teenager to 20 21 22 right then yeah you can't really change everything so much like dramatically true 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 for sure oh thank you bone grabber for the party with 32 people welcome everyone I'm so desperately trying to find this uh, article with chess couples. Uh. Welcome, welcome everyone. And this, I'm Katie. This is Sri here, over here. <laughs> and we're just chilling and talking. Yeah, we are, we are indeed just uh, chilling and talking. And uh, since you guys are new here, there has been a lot of interesting confessions today from Katie and probably more to come. So feel free to stay here. Make sure that you stay here and uh, do hit the follow button. I'm going to delay this stream. <laughs> so no one will use it against me. <laughs> yes, Paul, let's do a battle one day. Let's do it. I'm going to I'm going to write you today in this card actually. Oh, <laughs> I found one article but they're like old photos like we need updated one. Well, uh, I don't know about uh, the chess couples article but I don't know about a chess couple on YouTube with uh, two different channels and they are there all over my YouTube feed. Really? It's uh, Sagar and Amruta. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought there was a video of chess couple. Let me check that too. Yeah, Sagar and Amruta. They are such a lovely couple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they are like best friends and... I don't know, like you never know what's happening in two people's relationship. Uh, but what what is visible that they they are just bonding together so well and they are so productive together and they are so happy together. And this is so nice. Yes, uh, I would I would phrase it a bit differently, you know. Uh you never know what is happening inside a couple's life unless you're subscribed to Chess Base India clips where everything is posted. <laughs> 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 That's right. Uh, 
let me check this one. No, no, we don't have the video. Right. Yeah. They they make teenager couples jealous. Really, Sagar and um, Amrita. Uh, maybe they do. Maybe they do. To be jealous in a relationship for other people, right? True. There is nothing to be jealous because we have no idea what troubles people are going through in relationships. Yeah, true. But you can also have your own, like the happy one. Um, that's the hope, anyway. <laughs> Let me drink on more. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I think I, I'm probably going to go and uh, get some dinner and uh, end my stream at this point because I'm in early morning tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was, I was not really intending to have uh, such a long stream in any case. This is long stream? Uh, it is kind of, I mean, it, it, it is not long right now, but it could become one. You're getting oh. rid of me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of you, Katie. You're breaking I'm... up with me. No, you can't live without giving us some story. Come on, you have to give us some story. Uh, what kind of story? Some dramatic story or some fun story from tournaments. About uh, my crushes when I was 15 years old? <laughs> I I don't know. I mean... Of course, you know, you're just thinking to say or not to say. I mean, there are just so many. I don't know which one to start with or end with. That's so many. <laughs> okay, he was one only that you think that was the most precious one. Uh, most precious one. Okay, that's a big one. That's a big, big one. And uh, does it have to be a chess player? Oh, we prefer it to be, but uh, if not, that, then that's not a problem. Have uh, you had a crush on chess player? Uh, of course, I have uh, several. You have? I asked if you had. And you said yeah, I mean, of course, I've had. Of course. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so I don't, I don't know if uh, this is dramatic or anything, but uh, I did have a big crush on uh, Nazi when I was uh, a teenager. <laughs> I think I knew it. Yeah, I'm you sure you knew me? it. I probably must have. You told me that many years ago. Yes, many, many years ago. Yeah, 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 I remember it. I was not sure. I would never ask you this myself because I was not sure. But as you, as you say it by yourself. <laughs> you guys, do you know who's Nazi? Okay, your chat knows it. My chat knows it too. I'm pretty sure they do. You guys, do you know who's Nazi? Um, I'm pretty sure they. But she's not very active lately, like, uh, like two, like since she stopped to play just, but now she's back in. Uh... And what, what you were like, fe like feeling when you were seeing her, like you felt you were feeling something over here, some like rush. <laughs> I just thought she was very pretty. So it was not like uh, palpitations or heartbeats or any such thing. So you never talked with her? I have talked with her, but uh, 
but okay it was it was very different uh, during those times yeah i was i was myself a very different person at that time and uh, i wouldn't i wouldn't really delve uh, too deep into it you are so in love with her i remember once once you approached me at some tournament okay i'm i'm not i'm not sure if we are going into some dangerous you wrote me i prob i think Hi, i probably wrote Katie. you <laughs> i'm sure not i like nazi <laughs> did i do that yeah you told me and i was like okay wow good. wow yeah. i don't remember i have no memory or... it was in uh, turkey 2007 or 6 how do you remember how do you remember with such wait i have photos uh i don't know i just uh, um i th- i think the stream is going to be private on both our channels because me and Nazi both became champions we were making some photos together and i think you were there as well i, I think it it probably was uh, in vietnam 2008 the world under 14 no i remember it from turkey Vietnam I don't remember much. Yeah, it, it probably was Vietnam. Um yeah. I think so in uh, 2008 because I think I, I think that was a time when I had this uh, really big crush as far as I can remember. But I don't have such uh, accurate memory as you do of my teenage years. Hmm. Can't find that for us now. Yeah. That's perhaps not a bad thing. Okay, yeah. Well, good, good choice, good choice. So you you, you 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 have told her that you like her. Uh yeah, at that time I did. And what she said? <laughs> I don't I don't remember, but uh, but it was it was not really uh, any story worth uh, you know writing home about i mean yeah, there there's there's like there's actually no story there like back then it was like you liked someone and you had a crush on on, on and, that person uh, and i and wrote to that person on yahoo messenger and that was the end of story yeah 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 we were hanging out on messenger a lot Let, wait i i found this photo that i was looking <laughs> <laughs> there was a time when i think you told me that you like nazi we don't look really nice here none of us but <laughs> it's 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 not a photo with good clarity yeah it looks blurred yeah i don't know what this post is about right hey dirky what's up what what happened okay uh it's a really old, okay you you got to be careful where you're going now yeah i'll be <coughs> yeah 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 i remember it yes, it's nice it's nice not so bad right that there, there's also there's like also another uh, story. uh there's also another crush of me who got married very recently and she's not a chess player she's an actress but i was i was i just read about this yesterday and i was like why why so early why did she oh how old how old she was 28 she is 28 28 is early i mean why did she have to decide so early to get married i think it's normal it's normal age it is yeah so it it's also normal when people ask uh, katrina people older than that why they're not married yet oh no it's not katrina katrina was married recently but she's not 28 guys 
uh so katrina is like a she's a very popular actress and she got married uh, sometime recently in india i mean uh, she got married to another actor and uh, there's been a lot of talk about it because they are both very popular yeah yeah i love this act- actress indian actress um uh pr- pre Priyanka? Ah, Priyanka, Priyanka Chopra, yes. Yeah, yeah, she's so cute. True. She's very cute and energetic. Yeah, Priyanka. True. Uh, what is Rookie saying in your chat, by the way? What? <laughs> He's asking if he wants me to find out and spam. But Sri, there is like something that uh, you just have a crush, like you just you just like it, like you don't want to like uh, start dating or hang out or something. You just like a person, right? Yeah, true. And true. there are some people who you want to get more along, right? So right, like two categories. Yeah, true, true. Uh, absolutely true. Yeah. Although so, at fifteen, I'm not really sure you make this choice. Yes. It's 15? Uh, when you're 15 maybe you, you don't make when this choice. When I was choice. 15 my my coach was uh, <laughs> always an around and no one really wanted to hang out with him. <laughs> and you you were like with your coach all the time? Mm, no 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 I was not uh, with the coach all the time. Um I was uh, with the coach with the time when I was the most pretty. <laughs> like my best years um yeah before that i was with my mom and not much things was going on <laughs> i can i can sense the sadness there yeah there, there was like one story when um, after the game we analyzed the games like we were four people uh and we're all of course watching like each other's games and sending something new because basically we're playing almost like same and after that we were getting ready for next uh, round and for me it was uh, too much because i was getting very much like it's very tired and i don't want to be like 24 hour chess like playing chess studying jazz eating jazz no it's too much for me right yeah and on top of it i was sick i had uh, some infection officially mm-hmm. it was official like i had the the, the the prescription from doctor to get some uh, uh medicines and so and so on and i told my coach that i don't want to 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 see chess I, i don't want to get ready i want to just go and socialize and spend some time and just relax and study chess tomorrow like get prepared tomorrow and he said like of course of course your choice just go so i went uh i went to the hotel lobby with my friends and there was like some guys asked to play some card games. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, sure. And after some time, my coach walked <laughs> and he started to talk like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why you left, right? <laughs> <laughs> he thought that I was like, I agreed on with them to play ch- uh, some card games and that's why I was in rush. And he had his own, um, you know, Thank yeah you. he had his own no, i understand yes yeah you are also a coach <laughs> don't do no, I'm, 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 I, <laughs> yes but i'm i think i'm a pretty liberal coach yeah yeah well, he was only wasting his energy no not 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 my I was, we were like really laughing up forever that right But it's a bit weird situation when you when you know that you're always watched by someone. I know, I know. It it's 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 not a nice feeling. Uh and uh, yeah, I mean teenagers go through a lot. It's not a nice feeling at all. It's it's quite unpleasant when yeah. everything when you don't have that. And uh, people do go, I mean people do grow into individuals at a pretty young age, you know. They deserve that kind of uh, 
their private life, their private uh, space, yeah. even when they are uh, quite young. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. And I was always the last person who was making any, 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 like, any decisions or any weird yeah, things yeah, like yeah, teenagers yeah, yeah, yeah. are doing. I was really last person. Maybe I look like I was loud or something, but I was really last person <laughs> who, could, who could do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah it's still very hard to understand i know i know how frustrating that can be because yeah. you and want you know what was yeah sorry Shri. Go ahead. i mean you you want to make your own life choices and i mean you want to, you want to take decisions be a part of your life yes but uh, people don't understand it uh, when uh, you're young people think you don't know much but i think young people are pretty smart uh, especially the teenagers yeah i just want to socialize and uh, just to you know spend some time nicely and there was like once in a year occasion you could meet new people and in my opinion i was always telling this to to my coach like um the people who are doing something wrong that he 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 had these ideas it's they are doing um hello like privately they are they are not sitting in the hotel lobbies <laughs> so if i'm sitting here and you can come and see what i'm doing it's okay yeah it's, yeah it yeah yeah. Be, yeah right if i want to do something i will do uh, in private like uh in darkest places <laughs> so, <laughs> that in front of everyone so that's the difference uh between people like when someone wants to be always like in public yeah. area and when someone wants to, when someone's always missing so yeah 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 true true <laughs> that's it done be, be cool uh coach three thank you i mean <laughs> are you saying or are you asking what? are you are you saying or are you asking no 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 just uh, I, i'm sure you're cool but still. ah yeah i i think so too although i don't know what my students think but do you have a uh, female uh, students or just uh... Uh, it's only divya mm -hmm. yeah i i don't i don't have a lot of students in general so it's uh, it's only one female student <laughs> uh All right, Shree. Um, yeah. If you want to go, oh, you we got some story from you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I I could I could already sense that you were kicking me out. No, but... no, no, no. I I feel like you have to rest. Yeah, yeah. Like... I do. I do. I do. I was I was kidding. I was kidding. I was I was trying to blame you before you blamed me. but yeah i should i should go i should i should eat something and sleep uh, and wake up in the morning tomorrow uh, i do have an appointment so with who uh my mother has an appointment with the doctor and i have to take her so ah okay we thought that you had some date or something and you wanted to get some more information uh, that wouldn't be in the morning kitty Why not? <laughs> oh, yeah. Who who goes for a breakfast date? I mean, seriously, <laughs> who? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. So that this was a lot of fun, and uh, looking forward to do this uh, uh, again with you. You know, whenever we sure. get time next. This was a lot of oh, fun awesome. with you and with both the chats. With what? with you and uh, both the chats on our channels yeah 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 absolutely absolutely i love to hang out with your chat too like we we are having two chats so funny. <laughs> that's True. really nice uh get good dress free um i'm so happy that your student got a in uh, world rapid and blitz i am sure you're going to have a lot of work to do during it are you help no no no, no not 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 for the rapid and blitz i mean mm -hmm. what can you do during the rapid and blitz they just go play and beat up people yeah yeah okay okay just have a good um, holiday season and um talk to you soon yeah talk to you soon Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.
So I'm just going to hang out with my chat for a couple of minutes and end sure. The um, I will just end this Zoom, okay? And we both go to back in obvious. Yep, and I'll send my chat to your stream when I end my chat. I can't okay. read with YouTube, but I'll I'll post the yeah. link. Then. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. See you. Bye, Sri. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. You too. Bye. 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 That was a lot of fun, guys, and I hope you had fun too. I did notice a massive increase in interest once I started talking about my crush slash crushes. I understand what the people want to watch now, so maybe there will be a more reveals in the future, or maybe not. Uh, what I've understood from Vidit is that it's always best. to uh hint that there is something and then not reveal anything and that's what keeps people hooked for a really long time so maybe that's what i'll also uh, learn and follow uh, konev land is artemio but this was a lot of fun uh, with you guys it's a pity that we had to kind of uh, end the stream uh, it, it's been a short stream actually it's a 2 hour stream and i know that we are used to like 4 hour streams 6 hour streams and uh, all night streams jagrata gang and everything but uh, uh yeah today i need to go and i'll be back tomorrow at uh, 7:30 for uh, a sub battle with anna maya so 7:30 pm tomorrow that's on i forgot to make this announcement while uh, i was on kt stream as well i'll i'll just text her uh to yeah so if you guys are free then uh, tune into that as well 7:30 pm tomorrow sub battle until then it was a lot of fun guys so thank you so much and uh, love you all and see you soon and uh, feel free to join in on uh, join in to kt stream now the link is in the pinned chat and uh, do follow her as well she's a lot of fun as you guys must have observed in all the streams so far and today as well so thank you so much bye bye guys